पर Well, we've all been around those people who drink a glass of wine and they can immediately distinguish those different flavors while we sit there and go, not bad, pretty good. <laughs> well, Justin, the ambassador of wine education from Arizona Stronghold is here to explain how it is that those folks are able to go, oh, I taste the woody, I taste the nutty, I taste the fill in the blank. Right. Because I do not have those skills. Well, you do because you have a nose and you have a palate, but you just haven't trained it yet. Oh. Um, and one of the things that, that helps is to know that those flavors actually are in the wine. It's not in our heads only. Okay. Um, so, so then you're not embarrassed to go, does it have whatever, because, right. you know, it, it is there. Or don't be embarrassed to say what you smell. If you smell apricots or linoleum or something <laughs> odd like that, whatever you okay. smell actually is in the wine. Linoleum? So don't be afraid. Absolutely. Um, there's all kinds of uh, synthetic, inorganic uh, materials that flavors of those can be found in wines, such as rubber bands. Band-Aid is a really common one in uh, French what? and Italian wines. Absolutely. I would be able to... Smell the If scent. I pulled out a, a French wine for you to smell, absolutely. And that's what helps, is to taste or smell something. Are there injuries in the process, Kevin, or what's <laughs> the, the deal? It helps to have these on hand in case there is. <laughs> yeah, well, you're working with glass, so you, know, you, you never go. know that's, how it's going to yeah. happen. <laughs> but that's what helps, is to do what they call reverse palate training, where you actually taste and or smell things that are commonly found in wine. So, well, for example, if I... If you were to ask me, novice, I'd go, oh, I've smelled the fruity wine before. Mm -hmm. It's probably the cheaper stuff? No, absolutely not. Uh, but, the, yeah. the priciest wines in the world smell and taste like strawberries and chocolate. Okay. Absolutely. But it's, they're more balanced and they're more accentuated and they're a little more obvious than, say, some other wines. But what's what cool raisins? to know... What about Do you smell the raisins? Absolutely. Especially in dessert wines, white dessert wines like Sauternes. Um, absolutely. Golden raisins, honey components. Um, what's fascinating, though, is it's not just in our heads. That's what I thought was really interesting, okay. is that the chemical compounds uh, called polyphenol phenols or flavonoids that, say, give chocolate, strawberries, peaches, its flavor, what tasting, sure. is the exact same chemical compound that you'll find a grape. So you're tasting the exact same thing in a wine. So it's not just something we're kind of imagining. It's actually there in a chemical form. It, it is there. So is there a, is there a deliberate um, method in putting the combinations of anything from Band-Aids to strawberries into the wine? Not it's necessarily. Just kind of a byproduct of... There's things you can do, but it's all grapes. Okay. It's all grapes. There's no... Um, some very, very cheaper wines will add essence of flavors, but for the most part, all of our wines, uh, most of what we find on the market is just grapes. And what's interesting about a grape is, say, a strawberry is only going to taste like a strawberry. You know, you put 10 strawberries down, some might be a little sweeter, some might be a little more tart, right. but they're going to taste like strawberry. Grapes have the ability to contain the phenols from not only strawberries, but also peaches, also chocolate, also a they whole slew of other things. They contain them organically or they contain them by osmosis because they're around other things? They contain them organically, but okay. that's based on the terroir, where they're grown, the type of varietal it is. And a lot of these things come out uh, during fermentation as well. So okay. fermentation also imparts a lot of these flavors. Um, things like pencil shavings come out. Okay, so let me ask you this, Dustin. Now that you've told me that it's okay to say, this smells like Band-Aids. I can smell the Band-Aids in it. <laughs> me, right. If it's a French bottle of wine. <laughs> right. How do you begin to train your nose and your palate to distinguish those yeah. flavors and those scents great, more Great acutely? question. Um, well, first, I mean, like I said, you, whatever you smell, you smell. And don't be afraid to say it or taste it. And if all you smell is wine, you put it up, it smells like wine, that's okay, too. Okay. But uh, I would suggest getting a wine that you know and that you like and then doing a little bit of research online, maybe to go to that wine's website, and look for how they describe the wine. If they say it tastes like strawberries and blueberries, go get literally some fresh strawberries, some fresh blueberries, and taste those before you drink the wine. Taste it, smell it, and then smell and taste your wine. And you'll kind of put two and two together. Will it it's a lot easier. the flavor by... Uh, tasting a strawberry before, like with champagne, they always say take your champagne and have Well, and that's a difference between pairings. There's a difference between a pairing, like a, what, this wine goes good with this thing, gotcha. and this actually literally tastes Taste. like this. Okay. okay. So, uh, but both, now, both ways are fun. Does being able to recognize those flavors enhance the flavor in your palate, or is it really just kind of like a, I don't know, like a hobby that you're able to Well, it's detect both. Them? I mean, I would say the more you can get out of a bottle of wine, if you spend $50 on a bottle of wine, you want to milk that for everything you can get. Right. Right? You want to get as much flavor as you right. can. Even if you're spending $10 or $20, you know, you want to get everything you can out of that wine. But 
you have to taste things to get it. If you've never had black currant, you're not going to get it at a Cabernet, even though it's one of the most so dominant flavor profiles. So that's where you go profiles. back to the try it, taste it, reverse experience palate it, training, reverse basically. Palate. Rather than tasting the wine and seeing what you can find, just other things that are common in wines, and then and taste the wines exactly. It. And then, I get it. And you'll start. You'll be amazed at how many things you'll start pulling out of wines. All right, I like it. Thank you so much, Justin. Absolutely, thank I was you. so much, and I, I think mom just a glass of wine, and, and then really it's a whole conversation in there. Arizona Strong Tasting Room is in Cottonwood, and they have live music every Friday, so plan to escape the heat this summer and head up there. Um, producer Denise went up there with some girlfriends and said it was an absolute wonderful experience. She highly recommends it, so make a date.